Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to show you how you can upload an image file or a text file or a document to the S3 bucket using the Laravel. Okay, so this is a very common topic and we developer always use S3 buckets to upload. But I want to go and show you the inner depth of uh, these things exactly. So there are two ways that you can upload uh, the files or images into S3 bucket. One is by normal file upload, one is by base64 encryption upload. So I would be covering two of them. Obviously, uh, these are all on the project that you are doing. So now uh, let's uh, dive into the code exactly. Okay, so first of all, if you go to the file storage section of the Laravel documentation, obviously, you can see there is a S3 bucket configuration over here. And if you scroll down a little bit here, and you can see the S3 driver configuration, you can copy them. Okay. So depending upon your Laravel version, you should be copying it. If you see this, this is for the latest Laravel for 10. If you go for the 8, keeping the same page up, you can see this has been changed to something else. Okay. So depending upon the Laravel version, you should be using this. So first you have to install this package, exactly. The second thing is that you have to create a bucket. Now I have created a bucket over here, like demo upload all files, obviously. And once you create the bucket, this is publicly accessible. To give this permission here, you have to go to this permission tab. While creating the bucket, you should not block the access uh, public permission. You should allow the access permission. And then you have to paste the this JSON code here to allow access to the public permission. Okay. Now, what we are getting with this ST bucket creation exactly? What are the things that we should have in uh, in the AWS and have in Laravel exactly? The access key ID that I'm going to get with an IAM, the access secret key, the default region, the ST bucket name. The access bucket image, AWS bucket image, it is not mandatory. It is just keep in here. If you need any subsection uh, in the whole project, that can be useful for this exactly. Now I have uh, also uh, written this code here for the JSON exactly. Now let us see what we have here. What are the two codes that we exactly have in this section? So I have set up a very simple Laravel exactly now uh, there are two upload one is the normal file upload one is the base 64 file upload the normal file upload you can see the file you can get the normal way you the destination of the folder so i have defined the subfolder by define here you can define any of the subfolder or if you wanted to put it in the root directory of that folder you can put it into the root directory then you do not have to need to look and you can do this like this or you can just do not use this exactly you can just use this only okay so destination folder yeah now the image destination path file sc self i am using a sc full link generation so this is uh, this is the url of the image that would be generated right so i get the image url i statically put it over here you can dynamically create it from the uh, storage as well, but it will only return the last part of that image, obviously. So I have put it over here, and now you, you can put the path and the file name. I've just built a small function where you can pass the folder name and the image name to create the full link, and then the image URL will be in your hand, and you can put that image URL into the database or wherever you wanted to use it. Okay. So uh, let us try this code. This is a very simple code exactly, but uh, this one is a little bit uh, different. It is not uh, the code usually we write exactly. This is a base64 encryption upload code. So sometimes what happens, sometimes in our project, we have to upload images, right? But as you know, in the subsection uh, of uh, any add or module or delete module system, like the subsection module, there uh, are JSON payload that are going to be sent. So in that JSON payload where there is already a predefined structure to the project, 
the JSON payload, you if you have to add an image over there, an extra field after the project has been added, then you have to change the whole payload if you have to change the format. So at that moment of time, we decide to encrypt the image with base64 so that it becomes a string. Now you can upload that image as well. So this is how uh, in the JSON you can pass the image and that would be uploaded to the SC bucket. You can upload it anywhere. Even it is normally uploaded, it can be normally uploaded. Okay. So these are the two uh, sections. Now let us see in action what is happening. So I have set up this uh, thing where I have uh, my first house is upload normal file image. I would select a normal file, obviously. Any file, send it. Just a second. Need to on the ZAM. So I would like to paste it. And the image is uploaded over there. So, as you can see, the image file name has been attached to this. Now, let us go to the bucket and see what has been uploaded. You can see there is a upload image section where one file has been uploaded. And you can see 100. The image name is 100, obviously. Now, in the base64 section, you can see how I'm uploading an image in the base64. This is our image uh, to be converted into a base64. Now, we have a website from where you can uh, JPG to base64 conversion. Now, I have given the extension over here, JPG. Okay. So, uh, and this is the base64 image. Like, uh, we can send it. And that's get uploaded over here. So let's go and see if that is also uploaded. It would be uploaded in a different folder, like in uploading files, right? This is the image. It has been uploaded. And if you click on this, you can see all the things here coming into this section exactly. Okay. So this is a very simple tutorial to upload the images, obviously in the SC bucket. SC bucket is uh, something that is uh, very useful these days. I have covered it out fully into this system exactly. The code I will be obviously giving into the description part. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.